Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games. This time with a Game Maker Studio 2 beta jam. This game jam basically challenged developers to use the beta version of Game Maker 2 to make a game. The theme for this jam was Arena. I'll be playing all the games entered about 10, for, 10 per video for about a minute each. Links to the individuals will be in the description so you can check them out further, and all my info will also be in the description so you can check me out. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. Next. We're playing Beast Gladiators. Start game. Movement. Okay. Is this two player? Alright. No, no, no. It's just telling me different moves. JK. Got it. Look at my little tiger. She's adorable. Fuck you, Gladiator. I got ran straight at me. That's rude. Guys are rude. Ooh, I like pouncing on them. Pouncing on them does not hurt them in any way, though. That guy's annoying. Round three. Okay. Okay. This is a really simple but well-made game. I like the graphics and the animation of these people attacking me. Oh, ah! Darn it. Next. We're playing Coliseum Manager. I have no idea how to play this. Uh, maybe it's a two-player game. Yeah, it looks kind of like a two-player game. So they sort of divide and then attack each other. So I can't control any of this. I've kept most of the blue. Or I made most of the blue. Like a variety of different things. The tank one, he's sort of bigger but slower. Oh, so there's more of them. Okay, so like... This is deciding how many I want to be what sizes. Is it gonna have like nine of each? Why wouldn't I want nine of each? It's kind of interesting watching them all sort of dot, dot about and make their way. I would guess the most of each is the best way to go go about this though. Cause you know, it's power and numbers. Bam. Huh. Next. We're playing RGB. This is another game that's just source code. Press 2. Z. It's probably Z. To slash red. Press X to shoot blue. Blue kills red. Red kills blue. Got it. Okay. So the opposite of whatever color they are. So this we want red. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ooh. Yeah. There, there was a lot of them. Very fast. Um, the red attack is quite close, so that's going to be a challenge. No, if I score still one. I kind of wish up arrow was jump, as opposed to me having to manage, like, spacebar being jump. But, oh, I, I did the wrong one. I totally did the wrong one. Okay. Ah, oh, darn it. Next. We're playing my first game jam. This is another game that just gives a source file, so you need to compile it yourself. Use WSD to move around, mouse to point, left mouse button to shoot, right mouse button to shoot power. Rules kill small enemies, collect power ups, three power ups, same color, give you a power shot. If you pick up different colors, it will reset the power shot. Use the power shot to open the boss core and do damage. Okay. Got it. <laughs> That must be the boss core. It looks like a boss core. So, green more red and blue. Well, there's two green ones. Well, there's the Awesome. Bam. Ooh. I see. Okay, this makes a lot, a lot of sense. Oh, there's totally something there from the developer, and I just didn't read it. Um, I just really wanted to try again. I wasn't expecting these green ones to sort of break into more green ones. Oh, Alright, so I'm going to power shoot and then do this. Alright, red. Red. I'd Aw, darn it. I'd like to thank the Yo Yo Games and Small Day Hobbies. Okay, this is pretty cool. Just this little thank you is quite nice. It's a good game for your first game. Next. 
Last, but certainly not least, we're playing Gun Mage. It was another game that only gave you source code. It's quite challenging, actually. Okay, we can go through different um, attacks, though, different elements. Yeah. I like the look of all of these cowboys. It said in the description, be a cowboy, but with magic. I mean, I wouldn't want to be any other type of cowboy, let's be honest. Well, I can just go into houses. That's okay, though. Um, this is the last game that I'm able to play from this gem. A couple of people did enter, and they just gave, like, the, the like, I don't even know what it is. Um, it was, like, without source code. So, without all the folders that's required to actually compile the game, they just sort of gave one of them and not all of them. So, I was unable to compile those games, obviously, because they didn't submit enough stuff to. So, I couldn't play them. I do have a short list of a couple of favorites, and I'll probably write up an article tomorrow on those ones. So keep a lookout for that. Follow me on Twitter if you want to hear about it. Alright. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and commenting. Bye.